Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with a quick little iOS 7.2 tutorial for you all. This update adds something that I think will make many people happy. I know it certainly did for me. And that is we can now change our default notification sound. So pretty much since the beginning, since iOS 4, this was not possible. You could customize the sound for text messages, emails, reminders, that kind of thing. But for your default notification sound, you could not really customize this. And with iOS 17, Apple changed that default sound to an option that really was not popular. So finally, we have a way to change it. So let's go ahead and take a look. First, we want to go into settings. Classical settings. Okay, there's settings. I'll double tap. Settings. And we want to go down to sounds and haptics. Personal hot notification, sounds and haptics. Button. Okay, there it is. Silent mode, heading. And now you're going to see that we have a new option here. Silent, I bought ship, ring, sound, chain, hapt, the volume button, ring tone, text tone, new voicemail, Verizon, new message, new mail, ding, sent mail, swoop, calendar alerts, cord, reminder alerts, cord, default alerts, rebound, button. And right there, there it is, default alerts. Now, by default with iOS 17, it is set to rebound. Let's double tap and let's change this. Haptics default button. So we can also change the haptics. I'll come back to that in a minute. Store heading. Tone store button. There's options for the tone store. Download all purchased tones button. We could download anything that we've purchased. This will download all ringtones and alerts purchased using the opening double quotation mark Cullen Gallagher at gmail.com account. And it tells me the Apple ID. Alert tones, hit none, button. So we could have none if we didn't want a notification tone. Selected, rebound, default, button. Now rebound is default, so let's double tap. Selected, rebound, default. Selected, rebound, de selected, rebound, default. I think that is way too subtle, so let's pick something else. Now the cool thing is you can pick tree tone, button. Anything that is a text tone as well. Selected, tree tone. Okay, and they actually put tritone here. Selected, tree tone. Selected, tree As well, so that's cool. You don't have to go to the classic section actually to find that anymore. Antic, button, cheers, button. But here are all the options. Cord, button, droplet, button, hand off, button. Selected, hand off. I like that one. Milestone, button, note, button. Selected, note. I actually think that could also get your attention pretty well. Selected, note, passage, button. Selected, passage, portal, button, rattle, button, slide, welcome, classic, button. And in here we have classic, Alert, button, anticipate, button, which has all of these classics that have existed, well, I think since the beginning of the iPhone. Alert, button, selected, alert, anticipate, button, selected, anticipate. Oh, nice haptics to go along with these Aurora, two. button, selected, Aurora, bamboo, button, selected, ba bell, button, selected, bell. Bloom button. Selected. Bloom. So all these classics are here. Now, I'm going to show you something Classic, though, that heading. I really like. Default alerts. Back button. Default al So let's go back. Slot. Well, selected. Ringtones. Heading. Now we have our custom ringtones. So this does not show the standard ringtones like opening, for example. But if you've loaded in anything custom, and maybe you have something that would be the right length for an alert tone, you can use it here. So if we flick right here, three tone chime A button. We have a couple chimes that I like. Three tone chime B button. Actually, these are some common cruise ship PA chimes. Actually, so I'm going to pick one of these. I think I'll go with three, three tone chime B button. This one. So let's double tap. Selected three tone chime B. And I find that gets my attention well, so we're going to use that. So let's go back. Three tone button. Default alert, have text default. To the top, button. there we go. Store, heading. And tone, stop, stop, have text default. Just quickly, button. I'll show you the haptics. Standard, heading. So we can pick a standard haptic. Accent, but alert, but heartbeat, quick, rapid, S, O, staccato, symphony, but custom, head. And including your custom vibrations. Create new, none, button, none, button. Or we could have none. S, rapid, quick, heartbeat, alert, accent, but standard, heading, edit, button. So that's cool. Haptics, heading, default alerts, back button, default, haptics, default, and button. And that's really all there is to it. That is how you can now customize 
your default notification sound with iOS 17.2. Default sound, sounds and haptic sounds. Okay, so let's just default go back. Alerts, three tone chime, reminder alerts, chord, default alerts, three tone chime, B button. And we've confirmed that is what we want. And there it's, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Apple should have added this a long time ago, but I am thrilled it's finally here. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.